still in Nanning, Guangxi province in the southwest of China and we're on Qingxiu Mountain. Um, we're going to be climbing this mountain, talking about a bunch of stuff on the way, so uh, stick with us and look at these trees. We've just found out another way QR codes are used in, uh, in China. They're used for so many different things, aren't they? They really are, yeah. And this is another one of them. There's these thousand year old trees right here and they got little QR codes on them, which is kind of funny. You scan the bad boy and it's gonna come up with a bunch of information about the tree. Not that I can read it. So you saw Ollie just scanning that QR code on a tree and that's something that literally at the moment runs China. It like runs on QR code. So you go into a restaurant, you scan a QR code on the table, bam, the menu's on your phone, bam, you've ordered the food. You go to a supermarket, you buy your grocery, bam, you pay for your shopping with a QR code in WeChat. Go into okay. the metro station, yeah, bam, bam, you're on QR the metro. Um, even you got um, a company called Ulama, which is part of the Alibaba group. And they have food, so you might you might see some chicken breasts, for example, in a packet, and there'll be a QR code on there. You can scan that QR code, and it gives you the sort of root of the chicken, where it's come from, the origin of the chicken. You can scan vegetables. You know what another one was that I saw? Yeah. I got a um, I got a, a product to build in in the mail and I got one delivered and I scan a QR code. Oh, a video has come up of a tutorial of how to build it. One other thing that I find this really, really great is you park your car, right? Now, back in the UK, what do you do? You have to get the ticket, you have to go to the machine, maybe get your card out, maybe put some coins in the machine, you haven't got any money, blah, blah, blah. Not here. Go into the car park. Bam. Your number plate scanned. You forgot the bam. It's, bam, yeah, you scan the QR code, you've paid. Bam, out you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird how they haven't adopted them, innit, back home and Yeah, I mean, and elsewhere. you do see them, but not much. I saw them a few years ago and they just never took off, did yeah. they? Yeah, I'll just tell you about one other thing that I saw here in Shanghai, in a metro station. There's a huge billboard poster on the wall, right? Products on there like toilet roll, water, tissues, all this and all that. Scan the QR code once your account's set up. By the time you've got home, your stuff's been delivered. Oh no, let them know about the, what, the drones one in the air. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was well cool. Literally in Shanghai, they launched a thousand drones and created a QR code in the sky. Hopefully I can get a picture on the screen to show and you. And you could actually scan it and go to some information. What a cool way of advertising sky. that is. That's kind of mental. It's absolutely is. mental, isn't it? So QR codes. Yeah. Get them going. Yeah. Okay, so these are tree trunks that they've been here so long, they fossilized. Now, I don't know the technicalities of how that happens, but I presume they would have been underground at some point. But they, these are actual fossils, and that's, it does that's actually, it's pretty literally amazing. It feels like rock, rock but yeah. it's, it's actually wood. You know, that's, that's incredible, isn't it? It's oh, absolutely balmy. Oh yeah, that's the info for you. And obviously that, that doesn't happen over a few years, it kind of takes no, thousands of years, you know. It happens so. overnight. <laughs> nah. You know what I really like, Ollie, about China? and parks is that they whack them right in the middle of cities look you got like i just love that like vibe where you've got all this like nature and then right in the background you've got these massive city skyscrapers just like and they do this like so much everywhere they have like they make these lovely like areas for the the, the city people to come in and it's literally 10 minutes drive or 15 minutes on the metro and like they're, they're in like way more like oh there's um it's like a coracle that is isn't it oh no coracles around aren't they those hats remind me of vietnam yeah they're, they're they're what if you see a lot of the people harvesting rice in china they'll all be wearing them right keep the sun off the neck and the, the heads you know Hi. 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 
我我教你们有点英语好不好？好。OK。根据我 ，Welcome。Welcome to. Welcome to the Barrett Channel. The Barrett Channel. Wait, 谢谢小朋友们，拜拜拜拜。an ice cream and I <laughs> lovely stuff there's only a few ice creams I actually like in China because most of them a lot of them have weird flavors a weird weird to us in the West like pea or taro or green bean or red bean or these kind of things but this one solid chocolate so I'm liking this but I want to say kids in China are so cute especially when you come to these cities where they don't get as many foreigners right they're so curious they, they just want to say hello, they just want to use their English that they've learned in school. So if you just converse with them, ask them how old they are, what their name is, it, it, it like makes their day. You know, they run off so excited whilst they're walking around this park and there's loads of them on a school trip. I remember doing those school trips. Good times, man, good times. Ooh. It looks like we're leaving kind of sad about that we haven't spent that long here I love these parks man it gives me a it refreshes me a bit of nature can't go wrong with a bit of nature can you made a new friend here Robert yeah sir lived in <laughs> Wuhan during the pandemic uh, yeah crazy crazy I mean that's gonna be a great story to, to, to tell yeah you know to your grandkids in the future <laughs> <laughs> it, this is, we've literally, I find it mad, we've actually like lived through a really important part of history and you were like right, right in the there. epicenter yeah. of that part of history. Yeah. I mean, even me being in China, it's, it's kind of crazy because it, it started here and all yeah. that. Um, but yeah, man. It was a great experience for me too. So. Well, I don't know if it was great. It's, it's great now it's over or yeah, over in China. Yeah, it's great now it's over. But um, <laughs> and at everything the time, is safe, so. yeah. right, at the time it wasn't the best, was it? Yeah. But yeah, man, Robert, I'm sure we'll come up to Wuhan. And, uh, and see you and make some videos together sure. in the future. Yeah. This guy, what, what do you do? You do TikTok, right? Yeah, I do TikTok. What, what's, your, what's your stuff? Uh, more about cultural difference and some funny clips, yeah. What, what's the name of it? Gebi Lawai. It's in Chinese though. Gebi yeah, yeah. Well, this it will means, be on the... It means uh, the foreigner next door. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? I like it, I like it. So go over and check it out. Yeah. Uh, it'll be on the Chinese channels. <laughs> see you later, everyone. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Oh, he's the best. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> That's a two week trip coming to an end, starting off in Shanxi province, going down to Guizhou and then finishing off in Guangxi. Wow, we've learned a lot, we've seen a lot and um, it just adds to the bank of great experiences we've had in China. I really hope um, we're able to show the real China through these videos and give you a sort of glimpse of what it's really like. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed this um, series of videos in each different province and, and city. Uh, we're now finishing here in Nanning. We've got a flight back tonight at about 7 p.m. back to Shenzhen. But it doesn't end there. Um, you know, we've both got like one or two days in Shenzhen and then we're off to different places again. But yeah, like I said, hopefully you did enjoy it. Do want to keep this short and sweet. Drop a like if you haven't already, because it does really help us out. And, um, you know, if you can't support in any other way, dropping a like keeps us motivated and gets that algorithm rocking and rolling. So we will see you in the next one for now, everybody. Take care.